fuel's on, but are you serious? Oh shit guys, it's finally time. All right, so this is officially the first time I'm gonna be riding this four mil Banshee. All you guys know what's up with this. For any newcomers, I just got done building this quad. It's a 421 cc four mil stroker, two stroke Banshee. Most of you guys probably know what a Banshee is. So this isn't gonna be anything crazy. In this neighborhood, people call the cops pretty much at uh, you know when I'm starting this thing up. So I just kind of want to make sure that this thing even moves, and I want to see maybe a little bit of what kind of power we got going on. And uh, yeah, so uh, a couple things to note is that uh, it's not jetted yet. I just kind of threw jets in there. I was guessing we're going to be doing plug chops this weekend. It looks a little smoky. So I think it's a little bit rich yet. It's a little bit less than the last video. For you guys that are following the build, I had 150 mains, 55 pilots, and um, I put the pilot down to 52, and I also leaned out our gas mixture to 40 to one VP, and it, uh, it sounds better too. It feels a lot more crisp. So you can see the smoke though, it's still pretty smoky. So that, and uh, yeah, that's it. So I also got my phone set up here with the GPS. I've never done this before, but I don't know if we're going to be doing it. We're not going to do any like crazy speed runs today. Probably do that in the future. But we'll at least test that out and see what it's like. It's supposed to be GPS. I don't know how accurate it really is. But all right, let's test it out. Actually, I'm going to turn around here because I don't want to drive into the sun. And I can already feel it's got a lot more torque. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, that was like quarter throttle. That's like the bottom of third. <laughs> Dude. I can't even imagine wanting more power than this. This is this is crazy. Right, I think we're burning rubber. Are you serious right now?
Oh, it's muddy in there. I would take it in there, guys, but I still want to take pictures. And it feels like it's a little bit raspy. Um, I did notice the one pipe is smoking a little bit more than the other. And when I pulled it, I think the one pipe, the, uh, the one plug was fouled, it looked like. So I might have to put new plugs in. But when you get on, it starts to smooth out. It's definitely got way more balls than it used to, no doubt. And it's a little bit difficult to shift, probably because that lockout. That's not good. Uh, let's see what we got going on. Uh, fuel's on, but are you serious? I'm out of fuel? Wow. Wow, I just put like a good amount of fuel in here. It really is out of fuel, you can see the uh, fuel lines there. Wow, I can't believe that. I felt it bogging a little bit and I was thinking the, the plug was fouled. Wow, that's really hard to believe. Wow, that sucks. I'm at the bottom of the hill too. How you doing? What's that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just got done building it. And I wanted to see if it ran. It runs. <laughs> yeah, I actually have a, uh, a YouTube channel. I, I restore quads and dirt bikes. Yeah, I just got done building this one. It's a 421 stroker. It was not a... <laughs> it was nice meeting you, though. I got some... Mike. Yeah, if you want to if you wanna, uh, watch the build, if you're interested, it's... It's okay. Michael Sabo. Thank you. I don't have one of my cards with me. That's okay. I'll check it out. I'll yeah, it's, it it's nice to meet you, David. You too, Mike. Take care. Take it easy. Come on, Let's go. Well, that's cool. Usually, people around here aren't happy to see ATVs. But that guy seemed to think it was pretty cool. So I'm just going to get the push in here. And uh, put some more gas in it. We'll make sure it fires up. Get a good look at our sponsors. All the neighbors that hate me are probably laughing their asses off right now. And of course yesterday was push day at the gym. That sucked. Let's give us a try. Oh. Only I 
would run out of gas on the first run. You guys probably remember Project KX100 did the same thing. <laughs> Man, I'm out of gas. <laughs> when I had the Katana 600, I rode that thing to work and ran out of gas. Did the same thing. Yeah, dude, it's out of fucking gas. Son of a bitch. This is what you get for being a dumbass. I gotta get out of this habit of putting in a tiny amount of gas. I put like a cup of gas in these things for the first run. And the reason I do that is because that way if there's an issue and I have to take the tank off, I don't have to drain the whole like two gallons or whatever it is. I can just take that little bit out. And I kind of got carried away with this ride. And before the ride, the quad was idling for 15 minutes warming up. So it was just too much gas. But it wasn't bad, it was cool. I knew something was up there because towards the end, I think I was in third gear and I tried punching it and I was like, it felt like the clutch was slipping and it was like bogging a little bit. And I was like, there's no way the clutch is slipping with that lockup clutch. And then sure enough, it was the gas, which is really unexpected to me because I did put a, a decent amount of gas in, not, not just a cup, I'm not saying I put a lot in, uh, but I didn't think it would run out of gas that quick. So obviously this thing's a gas guzzler. It was cool though to meet that guy, David. It's nice to, you know, meet local people that are actually interested in what I'm doing here because it's kind of rare in this area that anybody really likes what I'm doing. Usually when I'm riding around the neighborhoods, even if I'm stopping at stop signs or no matter what I'm doing, they just don't like it. Um, so that was kind of refreshing. So thank you, David, if you're watching this. It was nice meeting you. And as always, guys, remember to check me out on Instagram. It's Michael Sabo 350 I'm thinking about switching up the layout. Um, I know for a while there I was posting up your guys' rides, but that's been such an overflow. And it seems like the feedback I've been getting is you guys want to see the Banshee and my stuff. Um, so that's what I've been posting a little bit more. I'm still going to post... Uh, your guys' rides. I think I might be switching that up to a, a something different, though. And uh, I'll let you know what I'm going to be doing with that in the future. Uh, but that's what's going on with that. And uh, don't forget to check out my girlfriend's channel, Ashley Van Bunk. She just put up her first video. And uh, it's a pretty nice video if you're inter interested in vacation vlogs and stuff like that. She has some cool uh, scenery and things like that going on. So stay tuned, guys. We're going to be doing plug, sh plug chops next. And um, then we're going to be ripping on these things. This thing is an animal. I was babying it that whole time. I'm actually afraid to gun it. I'm telling you. It feels like it's going to do a backflip. And um, the top speed, if you guys saw, was about 53 miles per hour. I can't film it because um, I used this phone. I'm using the phone to film right now. So I took like a quick clip of it with my helmet camera. But not bad. I think I was in third gear when I hit that. So this thing can probably go like 100 miles per hour. But it was definitely a little bit scary for me. Um, especially, you know, I haven't been riding quads, period. So when you hop on a quad, it feels really fast to begin with. And then with the whole four mil thing going on, uh, that was pretty badass. I mean, it's probably the fastest quad that I've ever ridden. Okay, so that is it. I will see you guys in the next video. Michael Sabo 350. Don't forget to check me out. Have a good weekend.